In this lecture, we will learn about the singleton design pattern and how to implement it in Python. Singleton is a creational design pattern. This design pattern will ensure that a class only has one instance and provide a global point of access to it. We use this singleton design pattern when we have a class in our program that should only have a single instance available to all clients and when we need stricter control over global variables. Let's look at the pros and cons of using the singleton design pattern. Advantages of this pattern are that you can be sure a class only has a single instance, you can gain a global access point to that instance, and the singleton is only initialized when it is requested for the first time. The weaknesses of this pattern are that it violates the single responsibility principle, can mask bad design, and with multi-threading, we have to make sure that threads won't create the object several times, and it could be difficult to unit test a singleton. Let's learn how to implement the singleton design pattern in Python. We will use the class keyword and name our class singleton. Inside of this class, we will create a variable named instance, initialized to a value of none. Then we will use the static method attribute and define a function named getInstance. Inside of this function, we will check if the singleton instance is none. If so, we will create a singleton object. Then, outside of the if statement, we will return singleton.instance. Then we will define the init method for our singleton, which will take in the self parameter. If the singleton instance is none, then we will set the singleton instance to self. Notice that before we create or assign a new singleton, we first check to make sure an instance of the singleton doesn't exist. Now it's time to test our code. Remember, the whole point of the singleton design pattern is to ensure that there is only ever one instance of the singleton at any given point in the program. The best way to demonstrate this is to create a singleton and attempt to instantiate more than one and then check the memory locations of where that object is stored. If we see two different memory addresses, we know that there are two instances of our object in the program and that our code didn't work. However, if we try to create two singletons and both have the exact same memory address, this means our code worked because it reused the instance that already existed in our program. First, we will create a variable named singleton and set it equal to a new singleton. Then we will call Python's print function to print out our singleton object. We will set our singleton variable equal to singleton.getInstance and then print out our singleton again. Then we will do that again, assigning our singleton variable to singleton.getInstance and then printing out our singleton. When we run the code, you will notice that each reference to the singleton is stored at the exact same memory address, meaning that even though we tried to instantiate multiple singletons, there is only one singleton object. In the next lecture, we will learn what a structural design pattern is.